Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right, we're back with our special guest, Joseph Jr., and we're working on the Hayward Super Pump, okay? In this video series, we're going to be showing you how to change the seal, the gaskets, the bearings, and how to rebuild the Super Pump. We have many videos, but this time, Joseph Jr., my nine-year-old son, is going to be doing this with us. That way, not only can he learn and he can share the information with his friends at school and teach them how to fix pumps. No, not really, right? But so he could also teach you and show you how easy it is to fix your pump if you've uh, worried about doing that. All right, so what Joseph Jr. is going to be showing you now is how to remove something called a stationary motor switch. You can see there you're going to be using the nut driver just like Joseph Jr. there, okay? And you, all you want to do is turn the nut driver to the left, okay? Uh, once you turn the nut driver to the left, just like that, uh, the screw will come out and your stationary motor switch will be removed, okay? So there you go. All right, good job, Joseph. All right, so here he goes. And just like that, now you can see the little screw fell out. Excellent job, sir. Excellent job. Give yourself a hand. And there you go. Now go ahead, move that motor switch for them so they can see it move. Go ahead. There you go. So you can see the motor switch just comes off just like that. It's now disconnected. All right, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Thanks for watching. Joseph Jr., great job, man. He removed that motor switch with ease. When we come back, Joseph Jr. is going to be showing us how to remove and loosen the capacitor. That way we can access the uh, motor governor in the back. And then he's going to hand off the repairs to his dad. I'm going to do some drilling, and uh, we're going to drill out some through bolts, right? And then after that, Joseph Jr. is going to tell us how to remove the impeller and some other good things. All right, so remember, all parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Peace.